Hi everybody, I'm Joby Smith here in Brooklyn for the second annual Eugene Monroe football camp. Eugene, this is the second annual camp. These kids are excited, you guys are excited, and what a great turnout. It was awesome, man, to see so many kids come out here passionate about the sport of football, which I love, and, and they're loving and getting, you know, feel for it. Uh, it's fun, man, seeing them with so much ability, so young, uh, especially out here in New York where you hear that, you know, football isn't as prominent, but it, it really is. The platform just needs to be built up a little bit more, and I think that's happening, um, and it's an awesome experience to be a part of it. A lot of raw talent, but you look at kids that are very influenced by you guys. You've made it to the pros, and you know what it takes to make it there, and you're sort of reflecting on that with them. Yeah, and uh, you know, when I came up, I didn't have the ability to, you know, actually become personal with NFL players and, you know, meet them at a camp like this. Uh, so it's a great opportunity, and I feel blessed that I'm able to, you know, give that to them. Um, but, you, you know, you said it's so much raw talent out here, so much ability, and, you know, so much room to plant good seeds in these kids to, you know, help them improve their lives for now and for the future. Austin, this is your rookie season with the Vikings. Obviously, you made a stop here in Brooklyn to give something back to these kids. Yeah, uh, you know, Eugene asked me to come uh, come back and help him out with his camp, and uh, I, of course, did that for him because, uh, you know, I know the kids uh, need this type of thing. When you talk about teaching the fundamentals at this level, how important is it for you guys to reach them in their brains and in their hearts? You know, it's really important, and, um, you know, Thank all the kids for coming out today, and I uh, hope they got something out of it. Coach, this is at your facility, Erasmus High School. Lots of young kids at the grassroots level being taught by the pros. It's got to be exciting. It's great just to have all these young guys from the community come out, show what they got, and not only that, but an instructional standpoint too. You got these pros out here, college guys, high school coaches, teaching them basics on up. So it's just a great feeling to see these young guys getting involved. How many of your kids are out here? Uh, we got a handful from Erasmus, uh, five, six, seven, mostly linemen just getting a day of work. And when you talk about these youngsters, when you watch them from eight years old on up, how important is it for them to get that fundamentals at this level? Learning the fundamentals is very important, but what people don't understand, especially the general public and a regular parent, is learning bad habits is equally worse, maybe even more. So if you could get a kid not to develop bad habits and teach him good habits and good fundamentals from an early age, it's going to transition in a positive way in the football field in high school. Doc, I want to talk to you about this camp specifically. You're teaching youngsters from the grassroots level how to take care of themselves. Right. The main problem is what I find with athletes and almost everyone is that they're good at training but they're not good at taking care of themselves, such as their sleep patterns, their eating patterns. So they're exercising and training, but they're only doing half the job. They're not doing the full job, including diet and, ex and, and uh, rest. And when you watch today's athlete, they're so well trained physically, so many demands put on them because the level has gone through the roof. That's correct. But there's the other end of it, how to take care of yourself when you're not doing the training and how to have the highest potential of your body by doing the proper things other than your training. <laughs> well, my name is uh, Christopher Legree, um, son of Christopher Legree. Uh, right now I'm an uh, office coordinator at Grand Street Campus in Brooklyn. And uh, I'm from Brooklyn, played at Poly Prep, earned a scholarship, went to the University of Maine, played there for four years, and now I'm here back in the city trying to give back to, you know, back to the young guys. You know, uh, kind of sick and tired of going other places and hearing that New York City football is not that good and all of the negative. So we're just trying to implement things and get kids caught up on how to play the game of football, not just what you see on TV, but you know, the technical things. 